Okay, now we're going to look at this um, this new chapter called Java Server Pages, and uh, this you need to read and think about. This is an example; talks about something, and uh, let's create a file called now.jsp in the web folder with the contents equal to the code given above and then go here let's go ahead and do that this is the um, the web folder right there gonna go ahead and create that um, file called now.jsp and uh, put this in there save that and then it suggests of course we need to start the uh, web server let's go ahead and do that that's um, startup.bat no error messages and now we go here oh, error message website now.jsp is not available. Let's see if we didn't follow the instructions correctly. Put now.jsp in the web folder and uh, we did not do that. We put it under uh, under the web INF folder. So I'm going to sort of move that up to the web folder here. And uh, this is the correct location. I'm going to reload this there it is shows the date that's in fact what it does see we create an instance of the date class store it in now then pass it in the print line and uh, prints the date we put it inside of a little HTML file here we need this line to import the uh, date class so that's a that's a little illustration of um, GSP. It's part of the presentation in the book. And then read through this. These are good experiments to do. I would skip over that. Yeah, but you should read that. Uh, create a JSP. So now we're going to uh, we're going to follow so what we just what I just showed you actually works. You can put your JSP there, but um, it's not going to be the um, the approach we generally follow. I'm going to delete that uh, because that's exposing the JSP directly to the to the um, browser's requests in a sense, and we're going to um, to bury it a little bit more deeply and force the browser or restrict the browser to uh, pass all of its requests through a servlet and uh, it's part of a general approach that's generally followed with Java web applications called a model view controller application whereas the JSP is the view it's it needs to run last so we hide it away and uh, force the request to come in through a servlet which is playing the role of a controller let's go ahead and um, do what it says here just it's asking to create a folder under web INF everything that's under web INF is not directly accessible to the browser so uh, if we want something to be unexposed to the outside we put it in that folder so we're going to put our JSP there in fact and uh, let's create a, fo a file called home.jsp and uh, in home let's add this um, this code and uh, you know we have a title for the web page and we're going to print a message but we need to set this um, this is a variable 
that we're dereferencing with this symbol here, or this whole syntax, we're dereferencing the variable, replacing the variable by what it represents, which will be a string that we need to set in the in the controlling servlet. Let's find out uh, what we need to do there. And uh, so there's a lot of explanation about that, but I'm going to skip that because I, I wrote it. I know it's there. And uh, nevertheless, you'll, you'll need to read that. Um, we need to add a variable declaration. Request Dispatcher, we're going to need to um, import that import that uh, package. And there's an explanation about that. And inside do get we want to do the following. Oh, we need an init method. So we want to um, we want we want to override this init method. We could just type it in there directly, or we can uh, insert it here. And uh, what we'll do is override or implement methods. These are all the methods that we inherit from directly from our, our immediate parent. This is our the parent of our parent. This is the parent of the parent of the parent. And what we want is the init method. Now there are two init methods in here. Actually, it's not in this. It's in our parent's parent. It's in generic servlet. This is an init method that takes no argument. We want the one that takes a single argument. So let's go ahead and add that. Straighten that out. We have a warning up there, but we'll take care of that in just a minute. Warning is that home JSP is never used and uh, we're going to use it right now. So we need to add this um, this code which is which is run once. This during the init method this code is run whoops what I'm doing here. We need to um, do a quick fix on that. That's not a quick fix it's going to be um, This cannot be resolved to a type. There we go, import. If I, you see this warning is going to go away as soon as I save it. This is unsaved. And uh, the warning is still there. It's never read locally. We set it here, but we don't use it, actually. And, um, but we will use it down here. So what we do here is we get the from this config servlet config a reference that's passed in to us when our init method runs. We call get servlet context. It gives something called a context. We use that to access various services or or information. We call get request dispatcher. This returns a, an instance of a class that that provides an interface to the JSP that we've stored in this uh, this path. And we need to use that home.jsp and we use it using this. And we're going to replace the entire body of the get method with that. And uh, actually the warning has already gone away that's the that's it right there now we're supposed to test this it shouldn't work quite yet it's uh, so in the init method we we load this home.jsp now we we set the um, oh here is the the old uh, message returning message by I think I'm going to um, set that back to what we had before undo that 
this home servlet dot do get And uh, I'm going to change that just to show us where we're at. We're going to print this in the logging file. And um, then we're going to set the message to buy. So there's a, the name message, where it's a, it's a key. It's going to be set to the value buy. So that's a key value pair. And then we we forward to the, the home GSP once again. I'm not going to go into a lot of a lot of explanation here. That is uh, that's written out in the in the web page. Uh, so you should read through that. All right, I'm gonna I actually changed the um, that little message in there. So instead of saying uh, returning message by I now say um, home servlet dot do get. Okay, now um, time to test. Now we made some changes, and what is it that we changed? I need to save that. We added the JSP. We modified the home servlet. Uh, what I'm going to do? Let's test it without trying anything else. I'm going to reload nothing. So in the manager application, let's go ahead and reload. Now in this, we reload. Now it's now it says buy. And here's the home from the JSP. So basically the request is going, we've set it up already for the for this request, for this web page. You go to the servlet and the servlet sets the message to buy and then forwards processing to the JSP and the JSP generates the web page. So you'll see home is out of the web page just quickly. This is a short explanation. Here is the the home. It's in H1 and then this is the message uh, buy. Let's take a look. Is that it? That is it.